Good morning, praise the Lord, and uh, a blessed day and a morning to all of you. I want to say a good morning and a blessings to the uh, Pacific viewers, wherever you are, and uh, from Kenya, Buana Sifiwe, and from all over. God bless you and praise be to the Lord. As usual, we are coming to you from uh, Pacific Waves TV, and uh, this is Pastor Ruth Nyonje. And uh, I'm a senior pastor and lead pastor of Jesus Celebration Center, Nairobi Utawala. To the glory of God, we are here, blessing the name of the Lord once again today for the things that he has done for us. Yes, we are sons of God. Yes, we are sons of God. The Lord has bought us by his blood, and we have become sons and heirs of the kingdom. And so this morning, we are here shortly going to discuss and share about the word of from the word of God about the word shifting and uh, I want to bring this to you from uh, the book of second Kings in chapter 7 I want to read together with you second Kings chapter 7 and verses 1 the the, the Bible talks about Elijah the prophet uh, talking about uh, uh, a situation that was in Israel at that Samaria at that time and uh, everything but I want to begin everything from verses 3 if you can turn with me in verses 3, the Bible says, And there were four lepers uh, at the entering of, our get, uh, of the gate. And they said one to another, why, why sit here until we die? And verses 4, the Bible says, If we say we will enter into the city, then the, the famine is in the city. And if we, if we, shall, we shall die there. And if we still sit here, we shall, we will die also. Now therefore come and let us fall into the ends of the, the uh, host of Assyrians, but they save us alive. If they save us alive, uh, we shall live. Uh, and if they kill us, we shall but die. Amen. And they, and they rose up early in the twilight and, and, go to, uh, and go unto the camp of the Assyrians and where they went, come to the uttermost part of the camp of Assyria. Behold, there were no men there. Number six, for the Lord made the, the host of the Assyrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of great hosts, uh, that they are no, uh, they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of Hittites and the kings of uh, the Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore they rose and fled, uh, fled in, the, in the twilight and left their tents and their horses and their aces, even the camp as it was, and fled for their, for their life. And when these lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into the one tent and did eat and drink and carried once a silver and gold and raiment, raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried once also and went and hid it. And they, then they said one to another, we do, we do not well. We do not well. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tar tarry till the morning t light, some mischief will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, let uh, that we may go and tell the king's house household. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you for your word in this morning. We thank you that the entrance of your word bringeth light and understanding to the simple. We thank you for what you're just about to unleash in our lives. And I'm, 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 I'm ready, Lord, to hear and receive from you, Spirit of God that I, submit, I release it to the world and the people that are watching. I give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my goodness. If there's a shifting that is coming, there's a shifting in the atmosphere. Uh, this story of the four lepers encourages my life so much. And I felt in my spirit today, we need to share about this. They are, these four lepers, uh, they were in the time of famine, and they came and they decided in their hearts, you know what? We are lepers. You know? You know what leprosy means? You know? No, no. You know, you can't walk well. You can't touch anything. I mean, no, nothing. I mean, you are disabled. You are, you are paralyzed uh, in one way or the other. And then they said, and they said, you know what? We know we are disabled. We know we are lepers. We know we are lepers. 
You know, we have leprosy. But there's one thing they made it up in their mind. There has to be a shifting. We must shift from what we are and what we have always known we are and we try a new thing and see what the Lord will do. Amen. And so they decided, let's go. Because there was famine. They decided they cross over to the next side and there were armies of Assyrians and they knew they, if they kill us, they kill us. If they, 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 they give us food, we live. So, uh, I mean, they made up their mind. When you are going through a shifting, you must make a decision that will bring a, a, a different result in your life. And so they said, we are going. And so they went uh, uh, over. And one of the things that encourages me about this man of God is God has, had kept them for an example for us. If we sit here, we die. But if we go to other side, Somehow, they might feed us and make us live. But when you make up your mind, you are going. And you make up your mind in the Lord. I am going. I am going to go. I'm trying this out. It has to work. I'm going by faith. It is not by sight. The Bible says we don't move by sight, but we move by, by faith. They said we are going. We may not have the, you know, we may not have shoes on ourselves. We may not, may, may not have hands and, 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 and to feel anything and to touch anything. But we are just going as we are and we are going to cross over. If they feed us, we will live. If, if they don't feed us, we will but die. You know, every man that has ever made up his mind, I am going to live. If I live, I live. If I die, I die. Look at Esther. Say the same thing. Lucas, Daniel, say the same thing. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They say the same thing. Every one of them was not willing to succumb to the gods of their, uh, the, 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 the land. But these are the, 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 the lepers. We go. And they made a trip and they began a journey. The Bible does not tell us how long it took. But the Bible says uh, in the morning when they were going, uh, they woke up early in the morning and they began their journey. But the Lord uh, honors the step of a man. The Bible says the step of a righteous man are honor, are ordered of the Lord. God honors that step you take. I am going to have a shifting in my life. I will live from what has been happening around me and I'll go for a new level. I'll go for a new, a new thing. I'll try a new thing. And they said what? We are going. And when they, but they made up their minds to go, the Lord also began preparing the armies from heaven. God began preparing them. And the Bible says the Assyrian had, the, as they, the four people walking, remember what leprosy is all about? And they are walking and they are crossing over the other side. And what happens? Hallelujah. The Bible says the, 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 the Assyri Assyrians, they had a, a blast. They had a, like a, a whole army coming. They said, oh, they have hired, you know, the Hittites and the Egyptians for us. So they may come and fight us. And, and you know what? It's just four people, four lepers, four, you know, four. They were just crossing over. But because they had made up their mind, we are going. Leaving our situation, forgetting what has been going on around us, forgetting what people have called us, forgetting what, is, what the doctors have said about us. We are crossing over by faith. We are going. We have made up our mind, we are going. And that shifting of their minds uh, made them shift even their lifestyles. Amen. So they went up. And the, the Bible says, and the Lord magnified their steps like that of a great army. The army was coming, the horses and chariots, they had them. What does that mean? When you make up your mind and say, Lord, I am going by faith. I am going to try this by faith. I have been this mountain long enough. I am going to move forward. The Lord makes your steps like of a great army. And then what your enemies will hear is, is a great army, is a sound of you know, warfare. They hear sound of chariots and horses, sound of, uh, you know, weapons of warfare, sound, sound of things that they cannot bear. And the, what they do is what, what they have been sitting on. Hallelujah. What they have been sitting on holding uh, to in their lives. The Lord will cause them to run and live. And this will be your portion to possess. Praise be to the Lord. Uh, and you know they went and the the Assyrians ran away and they left their their silver their gold their, their food in their tents and these four lepers entered in the first uh, tent and they ate come on they ate because they were hungry <laughs> they ate 
And after they ate, they, they went to the next tent, and there was a there was there was a silver and gold in the other one. They took the heat. They went to another tent. They took the heat. Remember, they are full. Remember the people that are walking. They don't have even you know their, uh, feet to walk on. And I mean, they cannot even foot on, uh, put on shoes. Their foot. I mean, their their this this is a condition. You know. They, they they are not supposed to remember when you 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 are uh, you are leprous when you are leprous in those days you are an outcast you are a cast so they used to live they were locked out of the city but you know what it doesn't matter this morning where your situation has locked you you can decide and say today i am going forth Today I am tired of the names they give me. Today I am tired of the names they call me. Today I am tired of this situation around me. I am going to take a step of faith and I am going to go towards the Lord. I am, and I am going to believe in this God who never fails. Amen. You know, the singer say, sang and said, God never fails. Jehovah never fails. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. He never fails. Jehovah never fails. He will do what he says he will do. And I want to tell you today, God has been waiting for you to take a step of faith. And say, I am tired of what I'm seeing in my life. I have done that severally, personally. I am tired of what I'm seeing in my life. I must take a step of faith. I must do something different. I must go for what the Lord has promised me. Let me tell you something. The promises of God in him are yes and him are amen. They never change. They have been there waiting for you. What the Lord promised to many days ago, it's still there. It's alive. It's active. But it's for you to take a step and say, Lord, I am going for my promise. I am going for my promise. The prodigal son was still a, a son of the father whom he left. He went around and did whatever he had to do. But the Lord remember, rem reminded him, you know what? You are still the firstborn of this family. You are the, still the heir of what your father has. Though he had wasted everything out there. But still when he came back. Hallelujah. When he came back, it was as though uh, he, he never went out with anything. Because the father received him. He even looked better than him that was left in the house there. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you today, it is a time for you to shift. It's a time for you to change the way you think. It's a time for you to see the opportunities ahead of you. It's a time for you to see the impossibilities becoming possibilities. I want you in your mind to delete a word called impossible. I want you to delete it. It is not there in the vocabulary of the kingdom. I want you to delete and say, Lord, it might, have, it, might have, it might have looked impossible. I might have gone through this and that. But let me tell you something. It is not the end of it. I am still going to try it again. Look at Naaman in the former chapter. Naaman was told by the, the prophet Elisha, you go dip yourself seven times. He was a man who was honorable. He had to shift his mind and, and decide, I am going to listen to the prophet. And remember, this report came from my house elf, a maiden, a, a simple young girl who noticed the grace in the, in, in the prophet of God and said, my master must receive healing. Do not despise the, those days of humble beginnings and never despise the men that lead you to your breakthrough. I want to say this, I feel it in my spirit. The man that carries your breakthrough may not look like the man that will lead you to your breakthrough. We always have to be sensitive in the spirit and know when it's time to move and when it's not time to move. But I feel in my spirit because we are ushering in the revival. It's time for us to move to the next level. It's time for you to accept to be shifted spiritually, shifted physically, shifted in every way, my, my financially. Your mind must be renewed in, 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 in Romans chapter 12 verses 1. Uh, we must be renewed in our minds. We should not conform. Do not conform to the problem and the situation that you have been in. The, lep the four lepers had a reason to conform, but they decided we are going. I am here to challenge us today. It is time for us to go for it. Amen. It is time for us to shift in our minds. It is time for us to shift in everything. You've been doing a business that is not moving. Go back and say, business, I'm dipping you in the grace of the Lord for the seventh time. And you must live again. You must produce for me. Amen. You must bring the harvest. 
You must bring the harvest. Hallelujah. And this is what I'm speaking to the land even where I am. This is what I'm speaking to the land where I worship. The, the land where I praise the Lord and I serve the Lord. You have to produce for me. Amen. Why? I'm shifting my mind and telling myself, you know what? I must go for what the Lord has said is mine. Do not die in poverty while the Lord become the poverty that you may become the richest. He took your poverty at the cross of Calvary. One of the things that Jesus nailed at the cross of Calvary with him was poverty. Amen. He took your poverty. He became the poverty that you were, you were meant to be. So that you can, you can possess the riches of the kingdom. And we are heirs of the kingdom, man. We are heirs of the kingdom. We can go for it. I feel it this morning. We need to shift in our minds and say, yes, I have tried many times. But this one more time. You try it by faith with the Lord. You shall find your shifting. You shall find what has been kept ahead for you. That has been waiting for you to go and possess. There is a shifting in the spirit. Amen. I want to share this one testimony as I end this session today. Uh, when COVID came, I was back in Kenya. And, and I was in church. And, and uh, uh, then it, it uh, came and uh, it was announced. That was in, that was in uh, March uh, 2020. And it was announced and there was lockdowns and there was everything. And I asked the Lord, Lord, what am I going to do to your people? What am I going to tell them? I have always told them that you are able. You are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all what we even think or imagine. You are beyond our minds. You can do it. And the Lord gave me uh, one simple word. And I know I have sons and daughters who are watching this program. And you can remember very well. The Lord spoke to me and told me, son, go and tell my people. That is a time of a shifting and a lifting. Even though there's a, 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 there's an epidemic going on, though there's a lot going on, people are not going to church. Businesses are closed down, but does not change the plan of God over my over your lives. And I went and announced on our, our social media, and I said, "The Lord said to me, is a season of lifting and shifting. Before the end of this season, we will be ten times better." Hallelujah. We will be 10 times better than what we are today. And definitely, that is what happened. Hallelujah. That is what happened. As we all went to it, this is what happened to us. This is where we are. And this is what happened. Men of God, God provided. God shifted us. God blessed us. God, I mean, even some of us, we even shifted. in a, uh, Even where we live. Some of us bought homes. Some of us bought cars. Some, some of us began new businesses. And I know very well, this may be happened to you and your ministry wherever you are. But I want to tell you something. When things are tough your way, it is a communication that you are just about to experience a shifting. Do not ever give up. Do not sit where you are and die. There is a shifting. The Lord is doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing. The Lord shifted me in person. He shifted me from even the home that I lived in to a better home. And it has been from glory to glory. I'm telling you the truth. One of my daughters bought a car during the epidemic season. We built a church during the epidemic season. So epidemic is of the, of the natural. But we are the supernatural. So we don't reign from the natural. We reign from the supernatural. We command the natural. Hallelujah. We command the natural. And I want to tell you today, don't let your leprosy hold you to the position where God did not call you for. Remember, God is a healer. God is the one that heals you. He heals you every day. And so refuse to be to succumb to the situation around you. Accept to shift. Accept to shift. Amen. Accept for a shifting in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. If the four lepers could possess their possession, you are better off. You are going to possess your possession. Make up your mind and say to from today, I refuse to succumb to the lepers that is in my life. And I choose to move to the next level. I choose to move to the side of the Syrians. You know what? The word of the wicked has always been laid down for the Russians. But where are the Russians? We must go to Isaiah, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 60 and say, arise and shine. We must always arise we must always choose to arise so when you arise God makes things happen but when you sit there you sit there and die 
I know I have talked to somebody today, this morning or this night, wherever you are, you is a season for you to arise and say, I am not going to be this kind of a pastor. Let me talk to pastors today. You are a pastor of a small church and you begin saying, Lord, when will you make my church big? No, arise and shine. Refuse to be a pastor of 10 people. <laughs> I refuse to be a pastor of 100 people as well. I am I'm seeing multitudes of, of, of people coming and receiving the Lord and being transformed and enjoying the grace of God that the Lord has bestowed in my life. I am calling you this moment. Let's arise. Let's move from the leprosy. Let's forget that we are lepers at one point. Forget about it. And let's move to the way of the faith of the kingdom. Because things of king, the kingdom are taken by faith. They are taken by faith. I remember the other said, I said, the violent take it by force. And this force does not come like we are, we are fighting. Uh -uh. It comes by the spiritual force of the faith. Refuse to be a victim. Re refuse to stay in the same place. The Lord has already least grace for shifting. And I, I, and I want to hear those testimonies because they are coming. I want to hear those testimonies as I pray with you this moment. What has been holding you in the same position today breaks loose and you move to your next level. And where you're moving is better than where you are. We have to, to decide to shift and to move. We have to pay the cost to walk. Even if you don't feel like walking, you just walk and try it. Don't mind the scorching sun. The Lord will, will, will help you out. But the wealth that you're in need of is not where you're seated. It's just not far from where you are. But you must shift and go there. Let us pray together. Precious Lord, I thank you. I bless you this beautiful day. What a moment. What a shifting. Lord, there's a shifting in the atmosphere. Things have turned it around. Tables are turning around for the sake of your glory. And I thank you for my listeners and viewers this morning. The things that you have done, the things that you have said, the things that you're doing every day. Lord, I pray that we will not be, we will not be contented where we are. We will rise our faith. We will rise in faith and say, Lord, it's our time to shift. It's our time to move ahead. It's our time to possess our possessions. Wherever you are, I want you to believe the Lord with me. And say, this is my morning of shifting. This is my season of shifting. The Lord shift my life. Shift, I am willing to pay the cost. I am willing to pay the price and move ahead. See it in your spirit. And let the Lord shift you like the four lepers. To the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. I pray for you wherever you are. Desire to shift. And may the Lord make your steps like of a great army. And may your enemies leave everything that they have been, they've been holding of for, for you. And you go and possess. Because the Lord has given you everything. And he has given us everything that pertains to, to life and godliness. I thank you, Lord, and I bless you this morning. You are faithful and true. We love and we bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. What a beautiful morning. It's a shifting moment. It's a shifting time. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.